Hello guys, thanks for stopping by my cleaning, decluttering and organizing channel. I am Jenya. Today I'd love to share with you lots of decluttering, cleaning and packing of things because we are moving to the house of our dreams. So in this video I'll be decluttering and packing up our closet that my husband and I share, my bathroom vanity, I'll be cleaning the kitchen, decluttering and packing areas like medicine cabinets, spices, pantry, as well as running everyday chores around the house. Also today's decluttering was a little bit different to me and it felt like a true declutter since we are moving and there was no oh um, I'll declutter this pretty thing next time when I declutter because even though I won't wear it but it's still new beautiful or expensive and this time it was a true question of do I need to bring this to our new house and start a new life chapter with this today was not only about how much I decluttered but actually what I decluttered as I decluttered things like my wedding dress today and experienced that liberating feeling of them not weighing down on me anymore even though they were perfect I think I'll be applying this decluttering method in the future and that is to ask myself let's say I am moving will I be taking this with me to start a new life but as of right now I decided to quickly start my daily laundry load as we're moving and packing things and as I have less and less laundry to do I have decided to manage it by doing one laundry a day without the need to separate any clothes or things like I normally do unless it's big sheets because I don't like washing anything with those because everything gets inside of those big sheets other than that I'm just gonna throw everything together once a day with a shout color catcher sheet to make sure that everything comes out okay and no colors leak now that that's done I'm gonna head over to Home Depot for the 50th time and get some more boxes and packing paper for those who are new guys I am Jenya and I am a Russian wife to an American husband we have two little kiddos together my daughter Anya just turned three years old my son Maxim is one we also have a kitty her name is Katya and she is beautiful on my channel like I mentioned earlier you will find plenty of cleaning organizing and decluttering motivation I also like doing things on a budget whenever I can but with today's video I am hoping to charge you with plenty of motivation inspiration and just good energy if that's what you're looking for and help you tackle your to-do list or if you need to sit down take a break have a coffee or lay down and relax before you go to sleep I hope you enjoy my company today but as you can see I am now starting to pack my bathroom vanity which is going to be pretty easy after that I will switch to our huge closet and then the kitchen I'm gonna use travel sized shampoo and conditioner for the rest of the time and pack the bulky ones away most of the unnecessary items have been already packed in the house like decor mirrors kids toys and we are now at the point of packing the necessities and leaving everything at the bare minimum so whenever I'm dealing with something bulky that is still a necessity I'm gonna try and put it into a smaller whether it Ziploc bag or container if I can for example laundry detergent or dishwasher detergent I'm just gonna put some of the pots into a Ziploc bag and pack the actual big container away I got a few suggestions from you guys in the comments as well and I like the idea with having a big bag or a box uh, with all of the items that we're gonna need on the first night and just call it the first night and I think I'll end up doing that eventually but I also am going to probably have a box called last two nights here or something or make it all just one box but of course keep leaving your suggestions advice questions whatever it is that you gotta tell me in the comment section because I love hearing from you and you do have the best ideas My husband has a bunch of socks and I figured I'm just gonna try and stick them everywhere I can so <laughs> I'm gonna stick them into this shelf uh, thing to make it sure that it's sturdy and get rid of some of the socks I don't know keep in mind that a lot of things I'm doing while packing I'm doing it for fun I'm just trying new things TikTok videos keeping it simple and taking it easy so I think moving can be stressful but packing it really doesn't have to be in my opinion So 
So before I switch to packing and decluttering my entire huge closet, I wanted to give you a quick overlook of my outside mini container garden because that is the only thing that kept me puzzled as to how I'm going to move it and I ended up coming to a conclusion that I'm just gonna cut off my cucumber plants even though they just started kind of giving me cucumbers and tomatoes I'm just gonna cut most of them off and take whatever I can with me and leave some of it in here so yeah these plants just started producing and I'm gonna have to cut them off in their prime so sad but let's move on to the closet and let me show you what we're dealing with I'm gonna put some clothes aside that I'm gonna need in the next few days, maybe about not more than seven outfits. My husband is gonna get maybe about 10 outfits because he's still going to work and he just uses more clothes a day. He goes about, through about three shirts a day on a good day. So he's gonna need just a little bit more outfits than I do and I'm gonna continue doing my one laundry a day which has been working like magic. My two little toddlers only have about seven outfits and they have been doing just fine. So I am starting to declutter some of the clothes, including the ones that I've been calling my favorites, despite the fact that I never wear them. An example is I have this red dress that is beautiful and perfect and I brought it with me from New Jersey to Georgia years ago and wore it once. And yes, there are seasonal outfits or special occasion outfits that you're not supposed to wear every day and only wear it every once in a while, but it was the time to recognize the difference this time and realize that, for example, that red dress is not in fact my favorite. I was simply holding on to it because to me it was expensive. And honestly, there was no sparking of no joy going on anymore, so even though the dress was perfect, into the donation pile it went. I'm gonna save the speech on my wedding dress, I don't see a point in keeping it, so it goes into the same donation pile. The only thing I gotta say is that I was trying to donate my wedding dress to one of those angel gowns and other places that only accept wedding dresses and then I guess they make something special out of them but they didn't seem to be interested because first of all there is no way to get hold of them and second it seems like you have to book the time to be able to donate your dress because it seems like they have a lot of those dresses being donated to them so I had no time honestly we have to move and I just decided to donate it to Goodwill. Also, I am preparing some medium-sized boxes to pack my clothes because clothes are not as heavy as some items in the kitchen, for example. So when I get to my pantry, I'm gonna be using smaller boxes to pack heavier stuff because it just makes more sense when you carry them, it's easier. So full of self-confidence And everything you said made a lot of sense I thought I was too cold to ever love again But every single word cut through the rain We see the distance grow so what I found worked best for me, and I'm not saying that's the rule, but when packing, I wasn't trying to go crazy over only putting one type of things into each box. 
I could mix and match categories it was okay with me, as long as the box wasn't turning out to be too too heavy, and as long as I didn't mix and match different rooms too much, because I would write the contents of the box on the box anyway, and also I would write it on different sides of the box, on the top and on the sides, because there is no such thing as being over prepared when you're moving your whole house. At some point I had to realize that I needed my marker on me all of the time and I kept losing it all the time. So I figured that during a move there is no better jewelry than a marker. <laughs> I started using toilet paper as fillers in the boxes, we had so much of it and it is really bulky, it will take a lot of space in the truck, so I figured that would be a great way to just save some space. So in case you are interested, our new house is about less than an hour away from our current house and for the move we are going to be ordering a moving pod that is a container that literally arrives to your parking lot and we figured it's not going to hold all of our furniture and all of our belongings so we are also going to order a U-Haul truck on the day of moving. So the moving pod is going to cost us about $800 and the truck less than $200. But in case you don't know what a moving pod is and why spend the money, because I didn't, then you can see what it looks like and how it arrives to your parking lot in my previous video, which I will include a link of in my description box right under this video, as well as other videos that I thought you might like. Also, look at this little princess here. I mean, is she even thinking of starting to pack at all? I don't know. I guess some things I just throw into the box and others that I care a little more about, I give them a little more love and energy and time. Like these little white shells, I haven't even used them yet even though I've had them for a while because I never figured out what would be the best place for them. But because they're so white and pretty, I'm going to wrap them into some extra towels which I have plenty of anyway. So I've been using baby blankets and extra microfiber cloths, kitchen towels as fillers and wrappers for things. Also. My linen closet I left to pack to the last because it's got a lot of fabric which I can use a lot in packing by just putting it on top of any box with stuff just to make sure that it's nice and tight and also space saving in a way. So I have used sheets, blankets, towels, whatever it is that's fabric to top up some boxes that, that are not filled all the way anyway and whatever I will have left in my linen closet in the end I will just throw that stuff into a box and that's not any particular rule it's just something I figured out for myself that's been working so far and I like it so I thought I'd share. 
Now all the stuff I'm bringing downstairs is going to be decluttered, not this picture frame of course is going to go into the garbage. Everything else that is in decent or working condition I'm going to put together and into my car and into Goodwill. Just as a side note, I don't think I should be donating hangers, Goodwill doesn't accept hangers, I think I forgot or maybe I did not know at the time. So I'm gonna take you back upstairs to just pack the last couple of things in that closet and finish it up, show you the afters and then we'll go downstairs into the kitchen to start packing medicine cabinet and spices. So all of these boxes are coming from the closet and the bathroom vanity that we have packed today. So this is now pretty much empty closet that has only got a few days worth of clothing. Those little dressers my husband will take downstairs when he gets home and these jackets I'm gonna get out of the way right now. So we are now in the kitchen and what I need to do here is clean it first and then pack whatever is not packed yet, including the walk-in pantry. I've gone through a lot of stuff in the kitchen already and packed it except for the spice cabinets and then the medicine cabinet and some other spaces which I will hopefully pack today.
If the dishwasher door being dirty bothers you, let me know in the comments because it doesn't bother me since, you know, it's the dishwasher, it's gonna wash itself, right? Clean the sink, I'm just using the dishwasher soap today. There's no particular rhyme or reason in my cabinets right now, just trying to keep everything that I use on a daily basis and absolutely all the time at my hand reach. So I put aside as much coffee as I thought I might need for the last few days and packed the actual bulky container away. I am gonna use my Thieves cleaner on the kitchen counters. To me it smells amazing. It's been about time for a while now for me to make at least a little label on that bottle of Thieves that I've been using. I do have a Cricut machine that my mother-in-law gave me for Christmas and I try to wait until I have just a bunch of labels that I need to make so that I can open up that Cricut machine and make them all at once every maybe couple of months or so. Now I'm gonna pack up my medicine cabinet and everything that we are going to use in the last few days and in the first few days in the new house, obviously, I'm going to leave on the shelf for now. And of course now happened to be the time in the middle of summer, I don't know why, but my kids have cough and I don't know where they got it from, but I'm going to have a bunch of medicine left for that. Their doctor did not seem to be too concerned about the cough, so maybe if you heard of some great medicine for a toddler's cough that does not seem to go away or a home remedy, I could really use one right now and you can leave it to me in the comments if you wish. I would greatly appreciate that.
My husband cannot stand this elderberry medicine. I think it's just like an immune booster that's natural. And I could take it just for the taste all day long if I could. Isn't it funny how some things can taste so delicious to one person and absolutely disgusting to another, even though those people have pretty similar lifestyle? My daily vitamins I'm just gonna put aside whatever I need for the next few days put the bulky bottle away and I'm sorry if I keep annoying you by repeating that I was just wondering maybe you're thinking what is she doing with those vitamins That's what I have to declutter from the medicine cabinet and now we're gonna switch to the spices. This particular bottle's top was broken so that I decided to cover it with a Ziploc bag so that I don't spice up the whole box. <laughs>
probably should have cut the holes on the box before I put the stuff in. I completely forgot so that you don't cut through to the items that are in the box. But anyway, this video is coming to an end and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me just show you the after pictures in just a second. There may be just one more video left in this house and we're off to the new one. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you wish. Tell me what your thoughts, opinions, advice and suggestions are and maybe you have some questions. I'll be happy to answer. But either way, I hope to see you next week and have a good one. Bye-bye.